Although LeVar Burton's renowned show Reading Rainbow encouraged generations of youngsters to read, it wasn't always easy for him to host. In the documentary Butterfly in the Sky, 67-year-old Burton recalls how the addition of an earring to his changing appearance caused friction with Larry and Cecily Truett Lancet, the producers and founders of Reading Rainbow. I became quite certain that since they had employed me, then what they got was me. I think that at some point, their decision to hire me might have, you know, bitten Larry and Cecily in the ass a little bit, Burton said. Between the pilot and the first season of the show, Cecily expressed her displeasure with Burton's increasing facial hair. She stated, We made the pilot, and LeVar didn't have any facial hair. I believe Jill, Gluck's son, called during the first season and said, OK, LeVar's got a mustache. Tell him to shave it, then. Ring, ring, ring. LeVar is opposed to shaving his mustache. The show's producer, Gluck's son, continued, saying that Burton's different look for each season caused Cecily trouble because she preferred the actor to look the same. Cecily went on, that's not the same guy who was in the season last time. We are discussing kids here. He serves as a host. I find it absurd that you appear different in each of our three seasons. According to Burton, his appearance modifications eventually sparked tense conversations with Larry and Cecily. They were quite tight. They weren't unimportant, according to Burton. Additionally, I was young and experimenting with many fads. This was an earring I owned. She coaxed me into getting my ear pierced because I had fallen in love with her. Larry and Cecily found it troublesome at the time as they believed that my decisions and the bodily changes I was undergoing threatened the continuity. My genuineness piqued my curiosity more, he said. I didn't give a damn about what other people thought. I insisted that everything about me, on the outside, should be all right. Because of the things society had taught me throughout my life, namely, that my skin tone made me somehow flawed or undeserving of love, I believe that I was reluctant to give in. Given that Burton hosted Reading Rainbow for 21 seasons, from 1983 to 2006, it's safe to assume that he and the show's producers eventually to an amicable agreement. For Burton's inspirational performance, it won 26 Daytime Emmy Awards during that time, including Outstanding Children's Series and Outstanding Actor in a Children's Series. Celebrity cameos in Reading Rainbow included Whoopi Goldberg, Maya Angelou, James Earl Jones, Martin Short, and Angela Bassett. In Butterfly in the Sky, Goldberg, who made an appearance in the season 11 episode Amazing Grace, explained her personal motivation for taking part in the show. You might be wondering why someone would take action similar to Reading Rainbow. You're not making any money, really, she remarked. What draws you in? I am dyslexic, so I can tell you why it was for me. So, I put off learning to read until much later. Everything is opened up by reading. Decades later, when considering the legacy of Reading Rainbow, Cecily talked kindly of Burton and his contributions to the program. The books and the reading are amazing, she remarked. However, I believe that LeVar's influence on the audience over the course of his many years there and as himself. These are his offspring. Get the best of people, from celebrity news to gripping human interest stories, sent straight to your inbox by subscribing to their free daily newsletter. You may watch Butterfly in the Sky on Demand through sites like iTunes and Prime Video.